So it's the next day, it's our final leg of the North Downs Way and uh, we are doing um, Shepherd's Well all the way down to Dover. So uh, this is it. It has been raining but hopefully it's going to clear up so uh, yeah. So here we go. Bell in and we're just going to be walking up that way to pick up the trail. Let's do it. That wasn't me, that was the posty. That was the posty man. So just past the church in Shepherd's Well here we are, North Downs Way, Dover, eight and a half miles. Okay. Eight and a half miles. Okay. What's eight and a half miles among friends? Okay, here we go. We are hoping it's going to stop raining. Because that's going to be a whole... There's a long stretches on this. It's pretty much one long stretch. We bear right, then another long stretch down to Dover. There's a couple of viewpoints on the way. There's supposed to be an ancient uh, tumuli. So we'll uh, check it out. Behind. Make sure we don't slip up like we all just almost did. And there's going to be a lot of that today. And we're heading across field. Okay. I did predict it's going to stop raining, and it has. Just a few little drizzles. But very muddy paths. Down the way. And uh, into some nice woodland briefly. But not for very long. Coldred Coldred Court Coldred Court Farm. And on the map we've got a little bit of an earthwork here. Look at that. Okay, very cool. So we're going here. A bit of woodland. We're in Waldershire Park. There's a folly over there. I don't know if that's part of a building, but it's a bit of a folly. Here we've got a bit of a walk. Thank you very much, Paul, for opening the gate for me while I've got the camera. Thank you. So we're walking straight down there. Ah, we love it. Yay. And there's that folly again. So Paul's got it as the Bel... what's it called? The Belvedere Tower. Belvedere Tower. I say what it was used for. Some kind of folly or observatory. Intriguing. So we'll try and find out a bit more of that when we get home. So we just come from all the way over there. Quick breather. And... Hang on. Let's get a view of the house. Just heading down to the entrance there. There must be workers' cottages uh, for people to work on the estate. We walk up further and we come to the church. So it must be consecrated ground. I thought it was just a woodland. Yeah, uh, it's still consecrated. Wow. Isn't that amazing? So I think one of the blogs said that the church was for sale a few years back. Oh, it's the Church's Conservation Trust. Well, it's obviously probably been bought by the yeah. Conservation Trust. On we go through the lynch gate. And uh, thank you very much. There's a sign across the road. A bit of road walking. Just have to be a little bit careful, as always. Uh, walking. Yeah, some cows in the field. Okay, prior to what I just said, Smart we spoke to the, brave. Yeah, we spoke to the farm farmer, and he said they're absolutely fine and docile. Even, the, I'm afraid, the ball up there. Yeah, we did have its fingers crossed. Yeah, they're all sort of just coming up this way a little bit fast. Sorry guys, they're all looking at us. I mean, the farmers did say this ball is very tame. You have to push him to even get him slightly wound up, so. Uh, we're heading for Ashley. Okay, I think we're going that way. Yeah, good news of the signs. Bit of road walking. Oh, I love to hear the, the seagulls. Things we're near the coast. Ashley, Sutton. Aren't? So we wish just walk through Ashley, which is very nice. Oh, look at that lovely old cottage. There's a North Downs close on the North Downs way. Wonder where they got the name. Yeah, they sort of have to think long and hard about these names. Down to close, and then Dover five miles. So we're now on a pretty straight run down 
to Dover and we're following the concourse of the original Roman road so that'll be interesting okay not pleasant absolutely peeing it down okay we'll take the rough with the smooth sort of gives it away really doesn't it Roman road so we're turning left in a minute and we're joining the White Cliffs National was it the White Cliffs Trail uh, the, yeah White Cliffs Country Trail. Country yes, Trail. Quite right. Unfortunately, you know, we'd lovely we had the weather we had yesterday, which was lovely and sunny. You know, it's, it's all right, it's mild, it's warm, it's not cold, but it's uh, just pissing it down, which is not the way we wanted to enter Dover, but hey, whenever I'm out walking, I do like these little drove roads, these little sunken paths. Very interesting thing. You know, people have walked here over so many years. There's another milestone. Is five kilometres to Dover. This is good. We haven't filmed for quite a while because it's absolutely chucking it down. I mean, ridiculously chucking it down. But we're now under cover in woods, so. Ill clue. Yeah. As they say in uh, Dover. Yeah. Dover, three and a quarter miles. Wow, it's over halfway. It seems to be much further than that, but once we start walking downhill, it'll speed up. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen, hang on, is that the sun coming out? Is it really? Are you really coming out? Let's... According to the weather forecast, I think the sun will come out tomorrow. Oh, God. Bet your bottom dollar. See, Paul's so into musical theatre, you see. It's going to come out for when we get to Dover, so we can do our bit at the plaque at the end. Interesting building there, there's a barn. Right, you can hear the traffic in the background, which is just over the top there. I've well, come across something rather sad. It's a little cross, was it? Gary Goldsmith, 1968-2001. It remembered every day. Oh, that's really sweet. Wow. What well, a odd place to put something. Yes. Cross. Yeah. You think they'd put the crossing there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we've got to walk down to cross over the motorway and then come back along there. Okay, we'll come the other side of the motorway, across the field, and we're going that way. Down into Dover. Down into Dover. At least it stopped raining. Yeah. As soon as we get there, the sun's going to come out, I bet you, for our ending bit. It's going to happen. Hope so. Bet it doesn't. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming on the journey with us, guys. It's been fun. Walk down, I've got cottage at the bottom. I'd much rather there in that field <laughs> than us, yeah. Just crossing the railway line. Nearly there. Okay, we've come back out into civilization. With the acorn sign, we've got to work out how to get down to where we're we going. Is that the. Oh, yeah. Cemetery. Yep, there's a sign off the way. There are little tunnels here. <laughs> Nothing like better than a little steep climb as you walk up to your ending point. Lovely. And here we are in Dover. As we walk down the road, there's the first sign of Dover Castle. Hence Castle Avenue. Yeah, Castle Avenue. That is a big seagull. Quite a few trails you can do around Dover. It looks very interesting. So here we go. We're at the end, we're on the seafront. End of the North Downs Way. Yeah. 65 miles we've probably done. Sorry, 165 miles from Farnham in Surrey, where we sort of come from. And here we are at Dover. Start, finish. There you go, guys. We've done it. North Downs Way. North, North, Trail. North Downs Way. We've done it.
Thanks. Year and a half. Yeah. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Could have done it in a week. We could have done it in a week, actually, if we'd taken a week off, That's actually. Right. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us for the journey. It's been fantastic. Um, I have to say, it's been a bit of sort of like, oh, we've done it. Okay. Okay. So, next one. Next one. I want to do the Ridgeway. I'm trying to get into the Ridgeway. But, but thanks very much for joining us. And uh, carry on walking.